Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkBook laptop. This one is a Lenovo ThinkBook 14-IIL or the model name is a 20SL. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove or upgrade the RAM for your laptop. If you want to know how much the maximum RAM capacity yours can support, check the link in the video description. I made a really short 30 seconds video to show you the maximum RAM capacity for each laptop, for your own laptop. Because this you can get a variation, a reversion of the i4 3, i4 7, so each processor is different even if you have the same model. Check that link to see what's the limit of the motherboard RAM capacity. Once you know your limit, you want to come back here and we're going to follow the video to do your own upgrade. We have upgraded this one up to 32 gig with no problem. And just this video is just for demonstration how to get to those and how to remove them the proper way. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you don't get the pro set, just get the simple set. And for the guitar pick, it's going to be for opening tool. I don't know why it's not focusing. And the guitar pick is there for the opening tool. These are really good. All right, with all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. So first thing first, we wanna remove all the screws on the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height. There's a screws right inside this hole in the back mid, middle on the side. So remove all the screws and keep them in one pile. So don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I really like this build. It is aluminum grade, covers top bottom. It's really good for dissipating heat. And it's very nicely made covers. All right, now that we remove all the screws, I forgot the one in the middle. I'll never forget any, double check. What you want to do, you want to grab it a little bit and you want to stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover. Just jam it in there. You can open up the screen a little bit. So I'm going to find a way to jam it right in between there. Just find your way and put it right in there, about two or three millimeters. And then what you want to do, you want to just twist it like this. I'm just twisting it and the cover is going to open up. I'm sticking it like under the aluminum and I'm just pushing the aluminum upward. Alright, so you want to do that all around on the left and on the right side. So let's go here. And go all the way to the back corner. Once you did this side and the front, you can just grab the bottom cover, bring it up, wiggle it around and it will release itself. Alright. And down here we can see the inside of the laptop and I don't see any RAM because the RAM is under this cover here. And you can, you don't need to remove the battery to do RAM upgrade, but some people are really flimsy and they cannot remove this cover and they can make a short. So it's safer to just pull this jack backwards. So grab it, pull it backward, use your finger. Pull this connector backward, you slide it back, don't put it make sure it's straight and then it's connected and then you can grab this metal cover bracket just start up from one corner kind of hard let me see if i grab a tweezers and i will poke it right under this sheet and i will lift it up like that bring it up once you have a little bit up just grab the rest and pull it up that way these are really sharp, be careful, you, you can cut yourself really easy. And it's held down by the clips that they just hold from the edges. So, there we have it. So this one, it comes with a 16 gig DDR4 RAM. To remove the RAM, to remove the RAM, all you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side of the jack and pull them away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you want to do, just grab it in the same direction, just pull it out, slide it out. You can put a 32 gig in here. Just make sure the nut on the RAM matches the nut on the DIMM. 
So if I try to put it the other way around, it's simply not going to match and it's not going to go inside. So you have to rotate, bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector. Once you're inside the connector, all you want to do is simply push it towards the motherboard and you're going to see these two triggers open and close and make a soft click. And that's when you know the RAM is in place. And the last thing would be to just grab this cover shield, align over the clips one corner as long as you align one corner here and here you can push it down and the rest should go in its place easily just push it down and there we have it and to finish it off just put the this connector for the battery slide it right inside the connector just like that and grab the bottom cover bring it over align it push down make sure you hear those nice click sounds on the back on the side if you see any opening, just pinch them together and it should go to its place. To finish it off, just put the bottom screws right on top. And I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for your Lenovo ThinkBook 14 IIL model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.